Good morning. I'm Rahel Solomon with your morning digital news brief for Friday, February 8th. It will be a tough commute for drivers who normally use I-95 near Woodhaven Road. This fiery tanker crash caused extensive damage to the ramp, shutting it down for repairs. The crash happened just after 10 o'clock yesterday morning on the ramp from northbound I-95 to Woodhaven Road and Ben Salem. Two men inside of the tanker are in critical condition. School officials say Fleetwood Middle School in Berks County will be closed today. That's after a dozen students got sick. The students were taking part in a play rehearsal last night, and that's when some began feeling dizzy and lightheaded. Twelve students were taken to the hospital, but no one was seriously ill. And later this morning, the Phillies equipment truck will depart for spring training. The Phillies gear is piled up at the clubhouse in Citizens Bank Park, ready for the 1,000-mile trip to Clearwater, Florida. The cargo includes thousands of baseballs, hundreds of T-shirts, dozens of gloves and spikes, and just one, just one fanatic hot dog launcher, among other things. You gotta have that. Okay, listen over to Katie. I'm gonna check out today's forecast, Katie. And good morning to you, Rahel. Well, we are in the midst right now of transition. We start the day off with lots of fog, some mist, some drizzle, a cold front passage to go along with everything. But with time, the sky is in fact going to begin to clear. And as it does so, we should end up actually with a pretty nice finish to the day, just starting to get a lot colder. So today we end up in the 50s for one final day, and skies will continue to clear with time. But the wind again also picking up. Cold front passage usually is going to lead to a lot of different impacts, especially. Um, uh, when you've got this kind of a potent front that's crossing. So you see a very substantial temperature drop as a result of this. And we're stuck in the 30s for the next four days. The weekend, quiet all in all with more sun than anything. But late Saturday, or I should say Sunday, Sunday night into Monday comes a new system. A disturbance, we'll call it. It's not a major storm, uh, but it will bring with it a next opportunity for a wintry mix of rain and snow. And then heading into Tuesday and Wednesday, larger, more potent zone of low pressure will roll through. And that also brings with it the potential for some wintry mixing. So more unsettled weather lies in wait for us down the road. But once this first front passes, we'll have a nice little 48 hour window of quiet weather for help. OK, Katie, thank you. And remember, you can always get Katie's most up to date forecasts and the latest stories right here on CBS That's the latest for the morning digital brief. I'm Rahel Solomon. Good morning.